F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fam? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R. Friend request reviews or friends request friends to watch True Detective Season 1, Episode 5, titled The Secret Fate of all life obviously all roads lead to this ladue fella um so i can only assume that we finally gonna get there because i actually thought it was gonna be last episode that we was gonna get to him but unfortunately we didn't we just got a little bit a little bit a little bit closer um but i don't think they can hold it for for any longer we are over the halfway mark i thought this was a 10 episode show it's actually only eight episodes or 10 episode season yes yeah, eight um so we're over the halfway mark so oh, we shit. yeah right 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 that shit surprised me too i'm thinking that we got quite some time to go but nah we are uh over the half so yeah rose leading to ladue fella try to knock that out figure out what's going on between um the friction of, of russ and marty in the present and here we go <laughs> how you feeling bro like, i'm feeling good man last episode was was amazing man um Someone uh, mentioned that, and uh, someone mentioned in the Patreon that the shot at the end there was a one take. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. which uh, definitely enhanced the experience. I can tell you that because that whole scene from beginning to end was fire, and I can't wait to see what's gonna be, what's gonna happen here because obviously, you know, we got Russ here. May has been taking hella drugs, like so. I'm just wondering. How the how that's gonna go, you know, because uh Buddy's gonna see him too. So it's just like I, I really wanna know how this is gonna play out because this is gonna be interesting to see how things are gonna turn. But man, this show so far has been great. Can't wait to see what they're gonna give us in, in this episode. Hopefully we get down to the to the nitty gritty and kinda wrap up the the past part of you know the show. Mm -hmm. Like like we kinda feel we're eventually gonna get to the present and things mm -hmm. are gonna kinda Hopefully, for the better, because they still sus. Uh, Russ is still a suspect, so I'm not really sure how. You know what I'm saying? So I was just really curious how they're gonna end this, since we're pretty much at the tail end of the of the show. So it's gonna be nice, man. Can't wait to see what they got. All right, let's get into it, man. We ain't gonna hold you any longer. We just gonna fly right in. Y'all know what to do with this video. Drop your likes, comment down below, and most importantly, subscribe. The goal is 10K. Click the button, click the bell, get notified when we go live. Let's get it, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Are you playing the mannequin challenge over there, or are you frozen? Okay, you back. Nah. <laughs> I feel like you behind, though. Uh, do you? Yeah. I'm getting in my head. I'm trying to see your flashes on your screen compared <laughs> to mine, bro. I swear. I'm like, hold up. Right now, his screen black. Did it go white? I right, just tell me whenever it gets to the very... See, look. Oh, that shit was white as hell. It wasn't white for you just now. Really? You paranoid. You <laughs> <up. laughs> Nah, I feel you though. Because I'm going to be struggling when I go through the YouTube on those. I'm going to be like, right, where we starting oh, at? Somebody kill it, please. Mm. Okay, we chilling, chilling. Thought we would have them in a like hotel room, handcuffed. I and know, shit, right? Man. This is different. What do you want again? I'm ripping some people. Yeah, they want to get to the good cook. They'll trade you or the IC Brotherhood, however you want to do it. Coke for Crystal. You ain't saying much. I figure I let my man give you the details. Look at this shit I got. You can step on it five, six times, it'll still kick. Damn. This means you got to cook a little more or a lot more profit. Nah. Mm. I ain't got no use for it. You feel it? Or your money. I can see your soul at the edges of your eyes. Mm. It's corrosive, like acid. Mm. And I don't like your face. It makes me want to do things to it. Dang. <laughs> Punch your shit. There's a shadow on you, son. 
Yes, he said, you got a demon attached. You got the shadow on. He he just, whew. look, you about to cry. He like that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of Nobody ever read me like that before, man. Mm -hmm. Whew. This man tripping. Marty, you got him. Just south of I ten along the Creo Nature Trail, heading toward Carlos. Hurry up, man. Yeah. He don't want to blow it. Hurry up, man. Damn. Only, only other car behind him. But nah, that's facts. He said, he said it. We, we open road, baby. Man, did he realize he had a tail? Oh, that's a okay. That's brush. Damn, even worse than we thought. Facts. Man, in the back seat, taped up. One of my old CIs tipped me off to location of his cookhouse. Just show me the rest of the file. Why are you so hot to see the new discovery file, man? Why are y'all? So hot to not give it to me. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be like a consultation, right? Mm -hmm. Is it? Is it a consultation? Or are you a sus? Yeah, but uh, you go first. You take me through it. Now let you see what we got. They keep saying that shit. Yep. How much more do you got to give? Like, damn. I hold you to that. You feel me? Had me feeling like I was watching episode one again. I'm like, hold up. <laughs> Hey. Where's Ginger? He's wrapped up in a ditch. What you got? Well, I lost some of men. I had to double back, back a few deep. times till I found the exit. You ever been hunting, Marty? Uh, yeah. Ten point buck year before last. Fifty yards. I'm not talking about sitting in a treehouse, waiting to ambush a buck, come to sniff your gas bait. Mm. Talking about tracking. Yep. Jesus, you're a prick. Look, we find a place, we come back here, we call it in, one of us stays surveillance, yeah? What do you see? What do you see, Russ? He see a trail. He see the beaten grass. Something. Cole came back from wherever he was. You knew it was going to get here, man. Just the once. The way you tell it. I tell it the same way that I told the shooting board in every cop bar between Houston and Biloxi. Now, Russ's dad taught him uh, bow hunting. You mm. know, uh, you had to track game till you got within maybe 30 yards of it. He said, what, 50 meters? He shot his fucking deer? Ooh. Imagine 30 yards. <laughs> now, this enabled us to discern the suspect's path while Sidestepping various oh, anti-intruder devices they installed. That's the second person he saved from a grenade booby trap, like. That's facts. In the past, like, two days. <laughs> like, so they want to go down. Well, 2v2, but they probably got some LMGs in that bit. All right. Hey, you want to do it? You go back, call it in. I'll wait here. You got a whole position. Yeah, exactly. Like, nah. Fuck you. You ain't doing this without me. Huh, <laughs> exactly. He know damn well as soon as he leave, fucking Russ gonna run up in there and try to G.I. Joe that shit. I mean, we had the location. We had our suspects identified at the location, you know. Might as well just leave the shit be and hand it off. But that ain't what happened. Hmm. <laughs> Mine was clouded. Yeah, he sucked the hell out of that shit. You hear the whistle farted. noise, bro? That shit. shit farted. It farted. It was his last... <laughs> it was his last fart lap. I said, I'm dead. And they had something farted. high velocity. Boom! Blow apart this tree between us. I mean, it was on. <laughs> <laughs> he on his soldier boy, like... <laughs> and all around this bark flying off the trees. I mean, we were in a fucking shit storm. Okay. Are we ever going to get to that shit storm? You feel me? Are we? Like, <laughs> Y'all just hyping hearing? this up. Like... Okay. We got another sticks. one of them contraptions. Shit. El Diablo. 
drop kick him right in the back. Right in that shit. State police. Put your hands on your head. Look, he got a swastika. He got a shotgun right six, there. Six, six, six. Fuck. Right next to him. Do it. Man like this ain't worried about going to jail. He gonna fight. Where, where, uh, where's the fat man? At it's time, isn't it? What the hell was that? Mm -hmm. Did y'all not see him going to the container? They spotted us before we crossed the forest, so um, all we could do was duck for cover, dig in. These motherfuckers is lying like a motherfucker. Facts. Yo, <laughs> this is. Oh this shit! Is interesting. Bro. This is okay. Even after a fallout, they holding this lie together. Mm hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. What, so what, what is the reason? We hopefully we find out very soon. That's right. Why the antlers? There goes container. See? Put it down. Hands up. Stay police. Oh. Marty! Come on, Marty. Get your ass out there. Put your hands on your head. Oh, Marty's gonna fucking... He gonna kill him? Oh, shit. Damn! Yo! Yo, what the fuck, Marty? We over here thinking Russ this entire time. Oh shit! Oh Yo, my god! What the fuck? That was some Last of Us shit right there. Bunker down behind this old decrepit boat, Captain America Marty Hart decides he's gonna run deep into the woods, flank around the back of the house where the dude's firing at us, right? And his buddy D Wall, he made a run for it. And his homemade yeah, booby trap. security system yep. took care of the rest. Yep. Oh, Damn, that shit. shot is crazy. Show it one more what time. What do you do? What the Show fuck one more did time. you do, Marty? Why? What did he see? We gotta make this look right. Was it another girl? Had to. Had to be. But how do they fake off machine? Do they got machine guns to shoot? Like, how do they fake a, a, I don't know. a firefight? Damn, Jeez. little, oh my, oh my God. Little girls, bro, chained at their fucking oh ankles, son. I can't, I, I can't, I can't blame him, like. Yep, he got daughters. I can't blame him at all. I'm gonna go see to the kids and don't bring them out. Oh, okay, so. he got the yopper. He about to set up the scene, okay. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. okay. Yep, I'm like, bro, go. all that shit, you gotta start shooting, you gotta. Two deaths. This is amazing. This is the best episode. What y'all talking about episode four? Nah, for real. This is right here. It. Lucky. Uh, we just as easily could have been chewed to pieces by that AK mm -hmm. on approach. AK with the drum on that bit, boy. They was ready. <laughs> Yo, Russ is a ride or die for real. Nah, for real though. What? Immediately take the cuffs off. Let's go. Like, <laughs> I believe I speak for the board when I commend you on the heroism displayed by you and Detective Hart. We were doing our job, sir. <laughs> wow. Mm. Wow. Did, oh, Damn. Oh, one of them didn't make it. Nah, nah. I think they just exhausted. The boy has been missing since January. he have been dead less than a day oh, right yo i couldn't even tell if it was a girl or a boy yeah i knew it was norris and shit. Like, but damn i don't want to know anything anymore this is a world where nothing is solved hmm. someone once told me time is a flat circle hmm. if everything we've ever done or will do we're gonna do over and over and over again and again Mm. And again. Forever. No, you couldn't manage to get shot. Saying life next is a time. loop. <laughs> he said next time. <laughs> yes. Is this why they fall out? Because 
it could be, but I'm 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 just taking it all in, man. This is just Oh, you got the kids in and the wife? They back mm -hmm. or or is this just a daddy daycare day? And she's uh chaperoning. Came around. Okay, she came around. You know, a lot of talking, counseling and, and maybe being in a shootout kind of opened her up to forgiveness hmm. or the possibility. Yeah. Off of a fabricated lie. He ends up getting back together. That's crazy. Were there others? Uh, what? She's, yeah, Besides her. She wanted to get it all. No. Listen, that was a different person. I, I lost it. You know, just a little. I've... I'm back. I cut the booze five weeks now. I'm in a program, Promise Keepers. Oh, shit. Okay. You have a long road to climb. Damn. He climbing, though. Yes, I do. He trying. Oh, but that didn't last long either, right? Nope. Down the line, one of those setups Maggie was so intent on finally hit. Oh, shit. Doctor, no less. Yeah, she and Russ had a thing a few years. Okay. Oh, shit. It's nice. You want a confession? See if State Detective Cole's available. Ooh. Your interview technique. Sure there's not some secret you could pass on. Look, everybody knows there's something wrong with them. They just don't know what it is. Do you know the good years when you're in them? Or you just wait for them until you get ass cancer and realize that the good years came and went? <laughs> you know, I cleaned up, but maybe I didn't change. Not the way I needed to. What's about to happen, man? They doing too much. I'm trying not to think about it. Damn, tossed in the tree. She about to deck her ass. <laughs> is that the Harley Quinns? I'm just trying to understand. What What is it you're going for? What's the uh, mm. message? I mean, I look at... Macy? Women don't have to look like you want them to, Dad. Damn. No, women, uh, but I'm talking. They changed a lot. Why she look so familiar? I hear you made cheerleader. Yeah, there were like 10 other girls who didn't get it. Hmm. I didn't know they had a great cheerleaders. Well, same as there's football players. <laughs> He getting his ass whooped in there. He like, can I have a son, please? <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody on my side, please. <laughs> hey man, that, that, that helps. That helps you learn, though, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh he looking. What she do? Dad. Mm. Tell it to your mother. You gotta tell it to mommy. Mommy. <laughs> Mommy tight. A deputy yep. found her parked in a car with two boys. Oh, Come here. No. Get over here. Bro, who is this? She looks so familiar. Yeah. In states of undress, you know. In states of undress. Like fucking. Damn. Boys are 19. That's freaking Damn. Starlight. That's who that is. What are you thinking? Fuck is wrong with you? Mm. Huh? Fuck you! Oh! He wound that shit. Why did he do that? Open the door, Audrey. I didn't know the age gap between them was so. But I remember when we was trying to figure out if there was twins, and I was yeah. like, nah, I think one's a little bit older. <laughs> But yeah. it seems like a lot of bit. Yeah. It was a lot of bit older. <laughs> this tell is me what's going on. That's what happens when you don't pay attention, Mister Cole. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> How many of these figurines he got in his house? As much drinking as he do. What happened in two thousand and two? Guy Leonard Francis. 
First you come in and say, I got the drugs from somewhere else. Then you say, no, I don't remember. I, I don't remember where I got the drugs. And you're making it too complicated. You're creating a maze for yourself that you ain't never gonna get out of. They got you. I don't think I ought to be blamed. It was entirely blamed for things I did when I was under the influence of anything. I don't think you should either. That's what I'm saying. PCP. Stuff makes a man crazy. <laughs> mm. How are you gonna say a man who's not on anything is insane because he did something crazy, but a man who's on something that made him crazy is sane. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's a pimp, bro. <laughs> now you gotta show them the difference between that madman and that pharmacy who blew them two people away and the man who's sitting here right now. You gotta show a shock. Terror and re fucking morse. I am. I do. I'm. I said, give me everything. And then what? Boom. Boom. Blew that fucker away, didn't you? You want forgiveness for that? Yeah. You gotta confess. You see what you just did? You just cop to a double murder. Mm. They got you now. They got you now. I don't want to make a deal. A deal about what? I know who you are. And I know about that woman y'all found out in the woods mm. way back. Mm. But antlers? Mm. Y'all never caught the man that did that. He's been out there. Killing. You talking out your ass, boy. There's big people who know about him. Big people. The elites nah, again? Ain't no deal, cause there ain't no people. You, know, you make me a deal. You deal with me about these murders. Ain't no deal. You ain't got nothing cause you're full of shit. I'll tell you about the Yellow King. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Bro, this shit. Got him. Oh. Give me a name. Yo, this shit. Look, if he wasn't just running you in there, you'll get anything we get. You have my word. Well, he's up, baby. Follow up. I'll be back. Well, I got it. That's true. That's true. Stay the fuck back. I got it. <laughs> this is what happens when you call him in just to try to get some confessions. Man, that's what I'm saying, man. You can't trust the, you can't trust these motherfucking police, man. They'll do whatever to get their percentages up. Nothing can grow. Nothing can become. Nothing changes. So death created time to grow the things that it would kill. And how many times have we had this conversation, detectives? Well, who knows? <laughs> and you can't remember your lives. You all right? We gotta go to Abbeville. Well, uh, we got a deposition this afternoon. I'll push it. I got somebody we need to talk to. I'll tell you on the way. Come on. <laughs> nah, you, you might want to hear about this. Guy Francis and Charlie Lang both say the Yellow King. Mm -hmm. Dora Lang said the Yellow King. Mm -hmm. Ever wonder why that task force was so hot to take the case? Like a 95. <laughs> Are you telling me you think the task force was in on it? He said there's powerful people in place. Okay. They brought up the elites already too. Oh, no way. No way, bruh. Oh, that's not him. Oh, yes, it is. How the fuck did this happen? He wrote something? You know what he was looking at with the double murders? You got audio on this. Sound? No, just the vid. That's it. It's three hours and nothing. Damn. The fool was leaking. 
What are the two officers' names? Childress and uh, Mahoney. Give me their files, please. Yes, sir. Damn, this show is getting... <laughs> this is the real episode right here, boy. This, it makes me sad knowing that there's only eight <laughs> instead of ten. I know. Fuck this. You trying to say Fuck Cole going around bullshit. killing them? You tell me right now why you're all over Cole or I walk. Let's hear it. Oh, you want to go back to the first, the first crime mm, scene? First crime scene, it surely is. Here we go. His record, his reports, his stories, they don't add up. So talk to him about it already. Stop pissing in my ear. Hmm. We did. Oh, you did? You weren't getting a read on him. He was getting a read on you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it big wigs? Is it rust? Like, what's going on? Talk, I already know all this. How you spend your time? I already told you how I spend my time. Here we go. Except you've been bullshitting us all afternoon. Excuse us for one minute, please. Good cop, bad cop. <laughs> you think it's time for it after all this time? <laughs> you feel me? I'm just like, damn. Does that, they really went textbook? So this is interesting. Are they, so they interviewing Russ and then Marty? Or like, are they doing them simultaneously, like on different days? Like, I don't, I, that's, you know that what I'm saying? I haven't like, got to yet. And now it kind of got me feeling like they did Russ first. I and now they're so. at Marty. Just so. from that last scene. These are from the crime scene in Lake Charles. Once folks got word. Lake Charles is a bit out of the way for you, ain't it? How'd you keep her out of the papers? Oh, okay. Maybe you got some friends in high places. Your truck and a man fitting your description was spotted in the vicinity of our crime scene five times. That's what you got, huh? That's it? He obsessed with the case. That's all it is. And him and his truck around the location for weeks. Determined. You know, he was off the grid after he left it on two. Didn't show up anywhere till 2010. How about you let us see what you're keeping in storage? Fuck no, you can't see my storage unit. <laughs> Straight up. You're a juicer. Ever blackout? Ever wake up, don't remember what happened? Mm. <laughs> your technique's on your ass. Look, y'all wanna arrest me? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. You wanna follow me? Uh, Come on. I thought, I thought he was gonna pull I'm a right. rain and be like... <laughs> Thanks for the beer. Beyond that, you wasted my fucking day. <laughs> I mean, yo, get this man for DUI, bro. <laughs> Pull his ass over, <laughs> bring him back in there. For real, question his days. ass uh, for the next twelve hours. Like, didn't he get you every bit of evidence? Didn't he push you where he wanted to go? He brought you Rianne Libier. She wasn't one of the dudes. She was one of his. Damn. What do you say? The guy was trying to blackmail him. He got on that too, didn't he? The idea that the land killer was still out there. Mm -hmm. So that's what they really. It's making sense though. They put they <sighs> they built they built a little case. I guess it's enough to be prying, but like really. Mm, another one. This shit is everywhere, boy. This is where it manifested at. So help us out. Yeah. Whatever you can tell us about, you know, from when he got on the, when you two had your altercation. Whatever that was about. Hmm. We want to know too. We gonna tell get us. there. We gonna get there. Damn. Was that what he making? Is it the... one for each person they kills? Is that the body count? Like, what do these shits? I forgot what that dude said. These shits signify. Is he being watched? Or nah, we just panning out. I like that visual. Right there. Here we go. 
Look into the window. I dare you have it. True Detective Season 1, Episode 5 in the books. <laughs> this shit getting spicy, boy. This shit. I don't know what y'all was talking about, Episode 4. This the one, right? Episode 4 was cool, though, but this... Man, it's just, I don't know. I guess, I guess this episode probably hits a little bit harder because it, it's, it really does start answering some of the questions that you've been asking a bit um, since the first episode. Mm -hmm. um, so that's probably why it hits as, yeah. as hard as it did. And we, you know, officially got the Ledoux situation wrapped up, even though that opened up even more situations. But still, we finally got that, um, that relief there. So... Man, dope ass episode. I love what they doing here with the whole conspiracy stuff. I'm 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 trying not to lean too heavily into it cuz I'd be I'd be falling deep into that, but it seems like they're playing around with it a little bit here. Awesome episode. How you feeling over there, Bradley? Uh yeah, I agree, man. This episode was was one for the bucks. Definitely. Um like you said, they they they, they answered some questions we had since the beginning, but not only that, they kind of like flipped it on its head like especially with the whole uh confession to the to the committee or whoever it was or the courts about the actual situation the firefight mm -hmm. that we heard from the very beginning so you know mm -hmm. going into it we're like okay we're about to see a firefight but the whole time nothing pops off so it's just like okay this is where we at so yeah man i i loved how they play around with that throughout the entire season and this is this is it. This is what we've been waiting for. So, yeah, I agree. This episode, because they answer some of those things we've been waiting on, I feel like this is the this is it. This is it? And then on top of that, we're kind of shifting towards the present too. On top of that, so that yep. shift is also is what uh what we've been wanting for a while. Um, so I'm glad that this is this is the one. Where this is the one. All right, man. <clears throat> so. I don't know, man. There was just so much good stuff that I I can't I can't I I can't do it chronologically, bro. <laughs> I, I can barely remember what I was just thinking about two seconds ago. So I'm gonna just throw it all out there because this episode was just that good. There was so much in, uh, interesting moments that were happening, and we're just gonna try to control the conversation as much as we could control it. So I'm gonna just start out with uh, just one little thing actually from the episode that was kind of like damn it <laughs> kind of didn't see it coming but i guess kind of did maybe is uh the daughters bro marty's at home situation bro like it, it, i didn't know which which direction they were gonna go with that to be honest like they we we had them as what they were probably maybe seven at that time mm -hmm. six seven um or at least the oldest was maybe seven and she was doing the shit with the dolls so I didn't really know where they was going with that. Like, I'm just like, is is it going to just be like a troubled childhood? Like, how is this going to affect the already, you know, messed up marriage and stuff like that? Um, but <laughs> they actually kind of took it a, a totally different direction. Like, she ends up becoming the, the rebel daughter. Um, unfortunately, she was caught in, in a not too great act. But uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of crazy. Like, I, I didn't. I didn't see it coming and it just kind of goes more into showing uh you know where marty fa failed and he's taking accountability of that now as he's older yeah but it just kind of sucks like seeing that life really i guess never really got better like he he was able to get sh his girl kind of back like he said there was moments where you know we were back and things were nice but he still ended up failing. He couldn't give her what she actually needed um, or what the family needed. So they still haven't showed the official official breaking up with them um, just yet. But I do. I did notice he doesn't wear the ring anymore. So I know that yeah. that moves on. But damn, 
That was impactful, bro. I was just like, what the hell, bro? Yeah. I like, and especially how they transitioned from, like, throwing the crown into the tree. And then like, her pulling That was kind of cool. Like, yeah, I was like, just yeah. like, wait, who the fuck are these? I wanted to say, but I didn't want to, because I didn't want to sound stupid saying it. Like, it's just, <laughs> I was feeling like, stupid, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that transition. I, I just love that we're kind of getting a little bit more of the kids as well because of what they showed us in the previous episodes. You know, because it's like, okay, it was very uh, small that th what they gave us, but it was, like, very concerning. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, having this be what happens is kind of, it is sad. Like, because the man went to his wife, like, yo, I'm begging to come back. But yet, I guess he only, he really only wanted that, you know, his, his wife, I guess. He wasn't, he wasn't there as a parent, you know? And it's just sad, man, that he, he went through all that to pretty much fail as a parent. And uh, and then at the end there, giving her a good old right hand to the yeah. face. That's uh, that's probably pretty sure that's it's going to be. game over. Yeah, it's game over after that. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's already um, rebellious as hell. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's yeah. If you didn't do that from the beginning, definitely don't start at the end. Or, or you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> that's just not the way to do it. Like, so I, I, I guess for Marty, you know, him coming to 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 realization. I guess it's like that for most people. People, most people don't really realize the mistakes until you know it's a little yeah. too too late. So it's it's kind of sad that he's at that that moment right now. But um yeah, I'm still interested to see how they're gonna kinda wrap that up because we haven't got mm -hmm. that final moment of them breaking it breaking it off. But we know it's coming. Mm -hmm. So it's um it's something that I'm looking forward to in, in the next episodes. Yeah. And at least right now, so far, as far as we could tell, him and his youngest still have a fairly decent relationship, it looks like. Um she seems to be a little bit more studious and, and et cetera, et cetera. So Definitely still interested in that family dynamic, but mm -hmm. damn, quite a blow. Um, and I guess since we're talking about relationships, this is even smaller than than the girls' situation, is that we actually saw Russ in a relationship <laughs> that seemed to have been working for, for quite some time. I See, that was the how? good thing about this episode. They were filling in the gaps. Like, they were really filling in the gaps. I really liked it. You're right. I don't know how it either, bro. <laughs> They said she was a doctor. I'm <laughs> trying to think. Robotic, it was she like a... Like, I didn't know what to do, but they did. She be... Ta like, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I can't even get this shit out, <laughs> bro. He do be robotic. There was a scene when they was at dinner, and she was talking. This nigga ain't making eye contact with nobody, bro. He just looking out just diagonally across, Tell like, you. just sitting there with the stogie, like... Hitting them shit so hard he gets dimples in his fucking <laughs> cheek, boy. That shit. But yeah, that that was an interesting little it just was. tidbit. It so, was. kudos to to Russ for having a successful relationship, getting his pee pee wet. Here again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> All right, what else we had? We had some uh some really cool moments, um just leading up to. The actual climax of Ladu getting his freaking noggin blasted. Uh, I think, Brolic, you actually called it out a bit. Just, just uh, how beasty Russ is. Just in, his movement and his technique. Um, obviously, he he had the survivalist as a father, right? He said that episode mm -hmm. or two ago. Mm -hmm. So that that kind of definitely helps him out. But yeah, that leading up. I think that was definitely one of the cool moments. Like we talk about the transitions and how cool some of them were in previous episodes. This one specifically was kind of lit because it's just like, it's like you said, you're listening to the story. We've already heard the story mm -hmm. for one, but we're now listening to it while seeing it play out. Mm -hmm. Like, so this is just wild because it's like in my head, I'm trying to watch it. And then I'm also like, talking to Brolic, trying to hear what he's saying. And then sometimes I'm like, nah, I got to ignore Brolic because if <laughs> yep, I don't, I feel I'm not going to be able to pay feel... attention to exactly what's happening. <laughs> I feel you on that. So that, like that part was fucking me up because I'm just like, wait, are we watching a lie? Or are they going to maybe tip them off and run back 
into the tree line and start fighting like so that that was the best i don't even know if you consider that a transition but that was just like the best because that it, it just had me perplexed to like for a moment to, like i was just kind of like what that, am i watching that moment reminded me of the aot moment you feel me mm. with the whole reynard and berthold when they you know the grand reveal and oh I, on the wall bro, when they said it in the background yeah, in the yeah, background. Yeah, this yeah, is exactly yeah. that bro like something <laughs> plot point heavy is being revealed yet you're <laughs> processing because it's being spoken in the background but you're watching something else happen so it's just like yeah. it's hard to, to, to maneuver around like your the brain gymnastics you got to be having like while Thanks. this is happening is just it's crazy. It's a brain transition. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, it really is. It's, <laughs> I, um, when when it happened in AOT for me, like I didn't, it didn't process very well. This one <laughs> process no for real, for real. It did not process very well. I did not take nah, it. AOT was crazy. Yeah, it I did not take it very AOT. well. Okay, I felt especially rewatching that. I'm just like I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I it kind of processed a little bit more for me here because of you know how much they've been homing in on the firefight and all that, and then you know you're watching this shit going down. I'm just like, where the bullets at? Like, <laughs> where the, <laughs> but we supposed to see some bullets flying? Like I haven't heard nothing ring off. He over here doing sound effects. Do 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 do. The soldier boy. Like, like yeah. So it, it, I, I I loved it though. I I thought the reveal was was fantastic. Um, it was. It, they, it, it was done very well. And then on top of that, uh, let's just keep it 100. The, the prosthetics or whatever, the, the <laughs> costume designs or whatever, the effects, <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Facts. Like that, that, yeah, that blow to the face, crazy. <clears throat> and then the effects on Buddy getting blown up. Like I said, it really felt like some, some Last of Us shit, like how brutal yeah. and, and gruesome it was. So. You know, I, I, I love shit like that. Uh, Me but, too. Me too. But uh, yeah. you know, it's good when you know it's gonna happen and you still react. Yeah. Like, cause when he was walking, when Marty was walking pissed, I'm like, oh, he gonna shoot him? Like, I, yeah. okay. Yeah. But then, when you see a fucking chunk, like, and then they showed him off again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Marty. <laughs> Marty, Marty, man, I'm here. Yeah, that's crazy. So yeah, that scene was by far amazing. And then Russ, the, it, 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 um, I mentioned it multiple times, like their loyalty even now. But like even then, bro, they were on point. Like as soon as he came and blasted, boy, Russ was shooting at the other dude. Like okay, we can't have no witnesses, bro. We gotta. Cause this shit gonna have to get cleaned up, like, and then he went straight into it after that. Immediately, Immediately. already <laughs> was thinking off. about a, a, a way to, <laughs> you know, to cover this up, like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, Bravo. That's that Matthew. undercover. That's that four years undercover. Matthew right McCall. There, yeah, exactly, exactly, That's exactly. Shit. So yeah, man, I'm, I, I'm, you know, I, I was a little bit worried about this show. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. First two episodes were a bit slow, but man, the pickup is real. It's the payoff. Yeah, it's the, the payoff, payoff episode. Is real. It definitely yeah, is. Yeah, the payoff, it felt, because my heart was damn near racing this whole episode. There was a couple of times my eyes teared up, not like because I was sad, boy. It's like it's like when you hear opera and shit, like, you just <laughs> like, damn, nigga, like, motherfuckers is hitting notes right now that, that the what's it, the angelic note? Like, you hit the angelic note that automatically make people cry yeah. or some shit. It's mm -hmm. apparently some note that singers can hit. That's how I feel when people write good <laughs> fucking TV, bro. I'm just like, oh, shit, boy, yeah. this is getting good. I'm pretty son. sure my face was like this the entire time. <laughs> yeah, that shit was getting good. <laughs> just this just staring into the, to the screen like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Today? I can't lie. I wasn't too, too worried. I wasn't worried until episode four. Because the way y'all was hyping up episode four, I'm like, yo, episode four was cool, but hold up. Y'all was hyping this. 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 Oh, mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I'm liking I'm liking where we going. And then uh, I mentioned it multiple times, the whole conspiracy thing. It seems like, I don't know. I, I don't want to get too deep. Because, like I said, I can get I can get a, a bit overboard with conspiracies. But at least for right now, I personally feel like they playing with it. They... They hinted at the elites with yep. the whole Satanism. The elites are sacrificing people. Um, 
and then this episode specifically they brought up the yellow king again yep. and then he said that uh people are watching or something he said like somebody's watching what did he say the dude that he was interrogating uh, nah. but he basically he made it seem like you know like there's you know people above us like the one the men the people yeah he also like, just he mentioned uh, the task force that tried to come in and swoop in he mm-hmm. didn't mention them so maybe maybe that little jab right there might have something to do with it when it comes to the higher ups yeah yeah but so i'm definitely I'm interested just, I'm because interested. yeah because i'm not i i don't fully believe it's russ okay i'm just gonna put it out there i don't believe i mean if they do take it that route i'll be Surprise. That would be fucking crazy. crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'll be... It would be phenomenal, though. It... Low key. Like, depending on how they do it. Yes. Because cause you got to think about it. They they have been saying, like, um, maybe all these bodies aren't the same killer. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the So they be saying stuff like that, too. Mm-hmm. So it's like, maybe Russ isn't the one doing the antler shit, but maybe he's doing these other bodies. Like So I'll... it would be crazy if he does end up. But I'm with you. It's because we Russ fans right now, bro. We can't see it. We can't see Russ doing this right now. Don't do it you can you, you can invite that man to the smoke party. That man come through, smoke your old shit in one hit, like. <laughs> come through. So you ain't never covered over this. <laughs> you ain't never getting that blunt back, huh? <laughs> Facts. Yo, you got to bring your own. Roll up your own. Son. But yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You said Russ, Russ ain't a sus for you? Nah, he ain't, he ain't. Um, like I said, I, I just think, uh, I don't know. He does He does seem like he doesn't have, like, feelings, and he's pretty empty on the inside for the most part. But I think he's a genuine dude. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to be the, the, the point of, you know, disconnect between uh, him and uh, brain fart right now. Marty? Yes. <laughs> yes, him and, between him and Marty. Because obviously, <clears throat> that still hasn't shown either. So, there's yeah, a few follow. disconnects that's going to happen between uh, these characters. Whether it be Marty and his wife and um, Russ and Marty to- together. I'm excited to dive into that. Like to see how that's gonna play out, because that's gonna that's gonna tell us a lot on how things played out the last what was it nine years I think, right or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know how many. It's been so many years that passed. At least a decade. Yeah, I think I think it was ten years. So yeah, the, <laughs> yeah. the last ten years. So yeah, it's it's gonna be interesting how they're gonna do it because can't wait can't wait to see what they do with it. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Russ sus neither, man. Like he's definitely suspicious because of how he acts and stuff like that. But I don't think he's a, he should be a suspect. But I mean, like they say, work the case. That's that's how you work the case. You gotta eliminate suspects. And this dude moves like a freaking. I was gonna say a nomad, but not even because he don't even travel place to place. He he goes. He's like a mole. He goes underground and then pops up, and then he pops up at the crime scenes. You know so. That's another thing that um, serial killers sometimes do. They go they go back, back to, to the com- crime scene. Yep. You know what I'm and saying? That so is they very just true. yeah, they just work yep. in the case. So it's like I'm not <laughs> mad at them. I am mad at them because you know Russ all day. But I'm not mad at them because even when they explained it to Marty, I was like, okay, like I, I it makes sense. Like if, yeah. if you put things together in chronological order and make it tie together, even if it is wrong. It can at least still, you know, make good sense. And it does. So I see where they're coming from with it. But it's just like, nah, bro, Team Russ, bro. He, If anything, he, if anything, the fallout between him and Marty caused him to leave being a cop. Um, and, but then his obsessive behavior is what keeps him on the case. Like, I feel like he, he probably leaves after the fallout and just never stops. That's why he's always at the crime scenes, because he's still trying to figure this shit out, like. This is his freaking, it's like that one case. Like every detective gets that one case that mm-hmm. they obsess over that, you know, destroys their lives or whatever, or, or, or skyrockets their career or whatever. Like, and this is Mar- uh, this is Russ's. And for him, 
not the positive effect. It did skyrocket his career. It seems like it's for fucking ruining his life right now. But uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Who knows? Because if he does end up actually being a killer somehow, that would actually be pretty phenomenal for them to tie that in there and, and make it work. Because right now, I don't see the path, man. At least I hope. <laughs> I'm hoping. I don't. <laughs> I'm fucking with Russ, man. He a good dude, man. He cool. <clears throat> And I like people like that. People who don't normally show emotions, they they really the most caring people, bro. Because when you actually do connect with them, you realize that their loyalties really are strong, bro. Yep. They, people who show emotions too much, that should be damn near fake sometimes. You, man, oh. I like you like everybody. The hell? Because I know my That's girl be getting on me sometimes. She be like, you too cold and blah. Like, no, I just... Like I be, I have to go through something with your ass to feel like we really, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Have we had, have we ran from the cops with each other before? Have we fucking, like, you know what I'm saying? Like if we haven't, bro, like then we are high. Like you haven't stolen anything high. from the gas station. You together. know what I'm saying? Like have we had to worry about man? Is our mom gonna whoop our ass when we walk into this house at 3 a.m. with fucking <laughs> bruises and this and nah, man? So. I, I, I like people like Russ, man. So we'll see. We'll see, though. Uh, what else? Is that about it? I think so. For the most part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, to wrap it up, I guess the, the final scene, right? The final scene, uh, he went. So you said that was the area that they went to before. So yeah. They, they never went inside, though. No. Right? They just went out. They were on the outside talking to the dude. And to the they, they, yeah, they never went board, inside. Because I think something happened. He was telling them, no, hurry up and come. Yeah, that's what it was. He was telling them, hey, hurry up and come back to the car. And you, you already know, in Russ fashion, he's just walking and shit. Like, <laughs> like he ain't got a care in the world. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I think that was right before they got the call about Ledoux or some shit. I, I don't know. Mm. Something like that. Um, but they didn't even get a chance. Yeah, they didn't get a chance to go in. But, I mean... We found these things before. Were they really helpful before? No. So it's just like how big of a clue this this is. Like I don't think it's gonna be that. I'm starting to think big. it's body counts. Maybe that's what you think it is. One it's like, one per person. Like because I can't. Rem- what the fuck did Lester say they were for? Did he say they're to ward demons away? I don't remember. So like you know you kill a person and then you uh. You give them one so that they can go to heaven and not hell, maybe? Like, if, if that's the case, then there's like five of them right there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Them shits was... Mm-hmm. I don't know. I got to go back and see what Lester showed about those. Because um, I forgot what he said. Even that wouldn't even give me enough of a information to really know what's the point of it. But obviously, the point of it is that there's a motherfucking killer still out there with plenty of, <laughs> plenty of shit. So, yep. um, yeah, just... Just quick final scene just to say, like, cool. Like, we see that there's some potential um, um, actual Every, truth to yeah. what the dude was saying mm-hmm. that killed himself. Yep, killed yep. himself. We're going we're gonna to quote unquote that. That's a, see, that's what I'll say. We can't get too deep into conspiracies. My man's a suicide. Um, yeah, so there might be some truth to that. They maybe did not get the real guy. Well, obviously they didn't. We know that because, you know. We here. Brother Muzon is here, right? So, <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited, man. This was a really good one. Yeah, I could tell because I'm actually trying to not leave. <laughs> when I when I try not to go, it's like okay, fun. We had too much fun. Um, any final thoughts? You want to drop a score? Oh, uh, final thoughts, man. <laughs> Shout out to Starlight, man. This was her beginning of her career, huh? Bro, that's crazy. Bro, I forget. <laughs> you did say that, bro. I was like, <laughs> you said that shit, and I was just like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> it was one like, of those moments. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's her, bro. He was like, I got I a block problem. <laughs> 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 nah, y'all, it's funny that he says that because that'd be some real shit that you might, like, you you think while you're reacting, you're like, I-, I need to focus on what's right here and, like, mm-hmm. block out what's going on because I need to focus in. Uh, I have a lot of those moments. A lot of times, I'm supposed to be here, but I'm over here. So, <laughs> well, my, especially with no subtitles, bro. Oh, forget like, about it. I, I, I but, uh, I'm watching myself in the third anything. person in the background, like <laughs> watching myself react to. Nah, but um, yeah, I just wanted to quick shout out because I recognize her, and it's it's kind of dope seeing other people from other shows that you enjoy, you know, and 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 shows that you're. You know, starting to really 
really enjoy as well. So yeah, man, I, I love that. Love to see where we go from here. You know, um, what what Russ is gonna potentially do, because um, you know he knows that they're on his ass. Obviously, mm -hmm. they're, they're trying to get warrants and all that. So yeah, it's mm -hmm. gonna be interesting how Russ is gonna maneuver from here on out. Now that they're out of the interrogation room. Are we going to be following them in the present? So there's, you know, a lot of things that I want to see going into yes. these last three. So yep. yeah, man, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to give it a score as well. I'm going to give this one. I think, I think I'm just going to give it a nine five. I think it's close to, to a 10, but, um, yeah, I, th I thought it was just a great episode. A lot of great dialogue, obviously mm -hmm. the reveals, the, the answers, that we got from this episode were definitely um, needed, and yeah, and I'm just grateful that that, that we here, man. We we getting close to the end, and you already know what that means, man. That means we're gonna be getting into another show very very soon. But let's stay focused on this one. This one is dope, man. I love right. it. Nine five. Right, right. Yeah, man. Really solid show, man. Really solid episode. Nine five as well from your boy Formal. Um, yeah, it was a damn near perfect episode. Really loved it. Sorry for Marty, bro. Or sorry to Marty, man. Sucks to see. But, you know, kind of made your bed. But, damn. <laughs> that smack, bro. And calling your daughter a slut after you was just creeping, creeping about the 10 years ago, was it? Man, the captain of the slut squad, bro. <laughs> That's funny. Marty, I mean, Marty, uh, goddamn, Marty, I mean, Marty. The daughter Amber, she kind of she kind of looked like the girl he used to. Starlight uh, actress, they kind of resemble each other low key a little bit. Those actresses. Mm. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, man, definitely very interested to see Russ outside of the interrogation room. I like that you threw that in there. Uh, as, I'm, that God damn, I cannot talk today. I'm glad that you threw that in there at the end because that is a really important piece too. Like they're finally going to technically be outside of the interrogation room. So what is this going to look like? We finally get a little bit more to the future. Does Russ and Marty talk to each other and see each other? And what does that look like? Yeah. So if you're still here rocking with us, we appreciate y'all so much. Y'all keep us moving and grooving. Those are nine fives across the board. Amazing episode five here for season one of True Detective. Make sure you like the video and drop your comments down below. Most importantly, if you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. We also have full length watch alongs, but you got to bring your own copy, of course. Patreon link will be in the description down below. Double R out, y'all. See you next week. Peace. Peace.